Chef Ricardo Cook and Program guys. Today we want to show you the behind the scene how to make your Jamaican black rum Christmas fruit cake or Jamaican rum fruit cake, whatever you want to call it. But this one is just behind the scene. All of the ingredients which you're gonna be needed, all of the stuff where you're gonna be needed for Christmas to make your Jamaican rum fruit cake. We have to be on time with this cake, guys. In the moon, in the meantime, I get a request for a Christmas cake. It's in the oven. Um, baking at the moment so these beer things are gone so things get hot remember all of these ingredients guys are gonna be needing them for Christmas to make your rum fruit cake a lot of people been asking me a lot of stuff on the you know my Instagram and all different places so here it is hopefully this will be a benefit to you enjoy the recipe subscribe to the channel and leave your comments see you next time from Chef Ricardo get a copy of my cooking book on Amazon the price won't change in that book, it got the Jamaican rum fruit cake and the zero one. Enjoy. See you next time. Bye bye. Nice and lovely. Well, today's gonna be behind the scene of the Christmas cake, guys. How are you gonna make a Christmas cake? How are you gonna do your Christmas cake? How are you gonna do? I'm I'm joking. I'm joking. Anyway, today's gonna be behind the scene of how you're gonna make your Christmas cake this Christmas. A lot of people keep asking me about the Christmas cake on Instagram and Twitter. Even on Facebook, on um, my YouTube channel, there are so many places people keep asking me about this Jamaican rum fruit cake recipe. Anyway, 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 um, basically I'm going to simply give you some ideas, some tips and some ways what you can do for this Christmas before you start to make your Christmas cake. Before I put a clip of my, one of my cake which I'm baking right now inside of the oven. But this behind the scene of all you're gonna make your Christmas cake, guys, is first of all, you need to make sure you get some rum, rum, and red label wine. These are the most important thing, guys. Let's put this at the side. Um, basically, as I can see right inside of this container right here, this is some fruit soaking for a quite a few while now. Um, that's one of the main things you need to do. You can go to any local shop supermarket and buy yourself some fruits there is oh i noticed oh they are making the fruits though they are making some package which you can get all of those kind of fruits all in one which you can use to make your christmas rum fruit cake so basically behind the scene today first of all what you need to do make sure you get your fruit soak make sure you got some jamaican white rum red label wine browning and this is vanilla, lemon or lime, cinnamon, grated nutmeg egg, and mixed spice. This is some cherries right here. This is the glass cherries, which you can also use. You need a bowl, butter, and I have more lemon, and also baking powder. Make sure you got a strainer for you to sieve your flour. Make sure you got a big bowl like this. And also you need a scale to weigh out your stuff. To make sure you're on current right side you need to grate it right here to grate your lemon on this side also if you don't want to use your there's a lot of people to be honest to you guys when they're baking they normally use their on which are the unblendable i'm gonna simply show you an idea which you don't need to stress yourself i'm wondering oh i'm gonna make my cake this christmas you don't have to use this if you don't want to use your own whisk for making your cake now I'm gonna right here and I'm gonna use these three items which is powerful these three items on a big bowl is massive and powerful to make your cake for Christmas um simple you're gonna need some sugar and also flour plain flour is the key and this brown sugar is the key to make your Jamaican rum fruit cake guys remember making a jamaican rum fruit cake all of these ingredients are gonna need it you're gonna need some egg or so to make your christmas rum fruit cake basically i'll um, show you you guys already how to soak the fruits there's a lot of video on my youtube channel showing you how to soak the fruits um basically i get a request for a jamaican rum fruit cake is in the oven now baking the whole place smell of cake right now welcome back behind the scene of all you're gonna make your jamaican rum fruit cake guys and as a simple thing to you at the moment there's a cake in the oven baking which i did make this morning earlier because i get a request for the cake um 
So as you see, you can see all, all of the stuff which is very important for the Christmas cake. Um, basically, you can use your tray. Remember, if you're gonna make a big cake, you need a big tray. To be honest, I don't remember how much inches this part. If it's a nine inches, I don't quite remember because I, I removed the label from it. Anyway, so this is everything. Remember, all you're gonna need. If I explain it to you one more time again, make you guys understand what's going on, and it's gonna be room temperature. So first of all, let's go back over one more time. You need lemon or lime, butter, baking powder. You need a ball. You need some cherries or glass cherries. You need some mix mix spice, grated nut egg, cinnamon, vanilla, browning, rum, dark rum, or uh, white rum, red label wine, and grater. And make sure your fruits are soaked even for 24 hours or even for two hours into some red label wine and into some rum. And you can get the fruits at any local shop or supermarket. Next thing. Make sure you have a sieve like this one to sieve your flour. Get a ball or a whisk or a spatula and or a spoon. You're gonna need a scale also for weighing out the item. You need plain flour and also sugar. And I'm using some light brown soft sugar. You can use a strong one if it is good because for me I'm cutting back on the sugar a lot. So that's how I know how to do my stuff, you know what I mean? So, right here, you can use whatever white, whatever sugar you want to use. You want to use a strong sugar, light sugar, black sugar, red sugar. Some people, when they're making their Jamaican Christmas rum fruit cake, they put crackers inside of it. They put cornmeal inside of it. They put in so many things. But I'm just giving you the basic way how my grandmother would normally make it back home in Jamaica. So, first of all, you need to cut your lemon and squeeze the lime juice inside of the cake also to give it flavor and to give it taste so guys hopefully this would be a benefit to you and wish you a merry christmas and a happy new year when it come we have a lot of recipe gonna come up for christmas and this is behind the scene for our christmas jamaican christmas rum fruit cake enjoy the recipe see you next time bye bye